Yeah, hi Pete, it's Tess, uh, back on the old Scott box once again. Uh, don't normally do a, a video right after a shower because I look like, you know, uh, I look like it's Halloween and I've just, <laughs> I've just been given a huge shock. It takes my well for my hair to dry out and uh, settle down. So, But I just felt I need to make this video. I was watching um, All In with Chris Hayes there and um, my god, America. You know, America, you know, the, it won't be long before you start asking Europe to, to send you food parcels, man, you know. I mean, you're starving your people to death, you know. The, I mean, the GOP and the Republicans, they keep going on about, you know, Obamacare and death fucking panels, you know. And, you know, they're, they're not wrong. America does have a death panel. It's the fucking Republicans in the House and Senate. That's where your death panel is. Every time they cut money to SNAP and food stamps, they, they are killing people. They're making the decision to, to kill people. Because people will die. They won't die from starvation, but what happens when, you, when you're hungry all the time is you, you, your ability to fight off you know, cold, flu, disease, especially if you're old or very young, is diminished. And it's a death sentence. It's a fucking death sentence to deprive people of enough nourishment to sustain their body in a, a natural state. So yes, America does have death panels, but it's the GOP Republicans in your House and Senate. That's your death panel. Every time that they fight for a, an increase for, you know, military fucking, you know, build up, and you know, vote for a, a decrease in SNAP and food stamps. You know, every time they they fight against money to go towards infrastructure so that people can be employed and, and feed their families, that's a death sentence to some people. That's your death panel right there. Anyway, so on to your fucking van, motherfuckers. And don't get me wrong, my garden's doing not exactly the same thing, but pretty much they're, they're condemning a lot of people this winter, especially the very old. So they make a choice to, to feed themselves or, you know, heat themselves, heat their house. And um, that's going to result in a lot of deaths this year in my country as well. Where old people don't have enough money to pay the, the fuel bills and buy enough food. Um, and that's a death panel as well. My government also has its death panel and they're called the Conservatives. Well, not just Conservatives because they're in league now with the Liberal Democrats, supposed to be, you know, Liberal, you know, Democrat, no, but they're not Liberal Democrats. They're basically centralist Conservatives. And they're going along with the right-wing conservatives to, to fuck my country up as well, you know. And don't get me wrong, Labour's no fucking better, because Labour are basically you know, conservative centrists as well. They're not standing up for the people, they're not fighting back against the stuff that the conservative Liberal coalition have put into place, you know, the, the austerity in Britain. They haven't fought hard enough, they haven't done their job. They haven't rolled out a, a progressive left-wing left-wing agenda for Britain either. They've consistently fought the Conservative Liberal Democrat coalition on tiny little, tiny little parts here and there of, of their bills rather than putting forward a progressive agenda for Britain. I'm not saying a socialist agenda, so don't take me wrong there. I'm not a socialist in that sense. But I am a social capitalist, which is a different fucking thing. And I just don't see Labour ever going back to its, its roots of social capitalism. Because don't get me wrong, Labour never wanted to, to have a social government. They never wanted to have a dictatorship like you have in social countries. <coughs> I mean, some people might call them communists, but a lot of the countries people call communists were actually socialist countries. And it, that's, that pure socialism didn't work. And pure capitalism doesn't work. We know that because... Not even America is a pure capitalist society. You have Medicare, you have Medicaid, you know what I mean? 
you have food stamps and you have education programs, public education. You you, uh, you know, but you also allow private, you know, uh, you know schools. So you you've, you're you're a social capitalist nation. You're just more capitalist than social. Well, I wouldn't even say capitalist. You're mo you're more fundamentally right wing, and I would say that's fascist. You have a fascist streak through you. All countries do because you can't have a population of people that don't have some fascist in them. And they cover themselves up, they wrap themselves in the flag and call themselves social uh, conservatives or fiscal conservatives, but they're really fascists, right? If they don't have a single social, uh, you know, aspect to the, to, you know, the bills that they put for, then they're not social capitalists, they are fascists, right? Because as soon as you go away from having any social ideas of how you can uh, use the government to, to help the people of your nation, you know what I mean? In a social form, a social way, to lift them out of the poverty and depriva deprivation that every country has. You can't get rid of it, but you can try your best to lift as many people out of it as possible. That's all you can do. And that's all I expect from my government. And I think that's what people should expect from the government in America. You will never get rid of 100% of poverty. You will never get rid of 100% of, of uh, you know, uh, stupid people, you know, you know, murderers. And that. But, but that doesn't mean, oh, because we can't get rid of 100% of murderers, we just do away with, you know, you know with, with the law saying that murderers, you know, not illegal anymore. We don't say, oh, well, we can't catch all the murderers, so let's not go out and chase any of them. No, we don't do that. Because we know it'd be a fucking stupid and futile fucking you know, uh, you know, course of action. Uh, so why do you see so many conservatives and right wingers thinking that you know, well, you know, feeding poor people is is, is no good because there's always more poor people after them, you know? Uh, I, I just don't understand that 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 way of thinking. Let, let's not give give free money to the poor. Let's not let them leech off of the rich who created all that money. When actually, <laughs> the only reason you're so rich is because the government takes some of your money and gives it to them so that they can eat and, and they continue to pay you, you know. Without that, the money doesn't circle and it doesn't give us a community, it doesn't give us a, a, a financial sort of, what do you call it, um, side to a society. I mean, you could just say, well, let's just take all the money away and give it to the 1%. Let's leave everybody that isn't rich, you know, let's take all the money off the people who are, aren't, like, no, billionaires and give it just, but give, give all the money to billionaires and just let it trickle down. Let the billionaires trickle money down by, by paying people to, to, you know, massage them, you know, tend their gardens, you know, look after the swimming pool, you know, train their horses, and you know what, let's just let the whole country service that 1% of billionaires, you know, and, and you know, and, and then they would, they would just get like food and board, you know, they don't need money, let's just give them food and board and right? all the, the huge rich people, you know, let, let's have the, you know, it, it doesn't work, you can't have total fucking capitalism like that, you know, it wouldn't be a capitalist society, it would be, a, well, it would be, you know, a, a horror fucking society, you know, dystopian fucking, you know, world, you know, but but that's basically what we're gradually moving towards if you just have all the money moving uphill. Eventually we'll get there where they've got the money and you, you get, fuck all. They give you a cardboard box under a fucking motorway which you can't, you know, nobody's using anymore because nobody's got a car, you know. You just shut down all the, all the car factories, shut down all the carpet factories, nobody's carpets except the rich. You know, they just pay somebody to weave it by hand. You don't need a factory to make them, you know what I mean? They'll pay people with food and some way to sleep if they make their carpets by hand. And they will be much better and beautiful carpets than we can buy from a factory. I'm sure. But only the rich fuckers will have them, you know. Is that the kind of world you want to move to? You know, if you want to move back to the, the, the days of fucking, you know, the Shahs of Iran and, you know, the, the fucking, you know, the Genghis Khan to the fucking world, you know, the Roman emperors, that, that sort of world we want to move back to, where, you know, they give us fucking blood sports instead of fucking American football, and they give us free bread and wine where we watch people stab each other to death, uh, and the rich people come there and, and they give you the bread, you know what I mean, you're not buying it, they give you it for free, 
because, you know, they need you to fucking, you know, row their boats and fucking train their horses and till their fields and tend their gardens and build them new palaces, you know. That, that, is that the world we want to go back to? Because that, that's what these fuckers seem to want. Death panels, yeah. We have them. They're called the fucking unfunctioning part of our fucking governments. That's the death panel. They're called the nihilists, the naysayers. The people who want to stop any forward progress within our society. That's your fucking death panel right there. Your Sarah Palins, your Ted Cruises, you know what I mean? That's your fucking death panels. Swans, you fucking vampire.